We get tested all the time. Each and every one of us. We don't know where the test is. It could be in an accident. It could be in the death of a loved one. It could be in the loss of health and the loss of wealth and the loss of, of uh, love, anything. Allahu A'lam where the test is. But if we are being tested, it's one of two things or two things at the same time. Either we are being punished for the sin we committed, which is still good. Because if Allah punishes you now, you will not be responsible on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Alhamdulillah. When we commit a crime and we get the punishment now, we are absolved of the responsibility on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. If we get away with it, we will have to deal with it then. You don't want to deal with it then. Or it could be that Allah loves you. Or it could be both. Because Allah loves you, He is having you go through this difficulty so that He will expiate that sin of yours so that when you meet Him, you will not be, be responsible for, for that sin. So Allah tests those whom He loves. So when you're going through a test, be positive and assume the best about Allah. As Allah Azza wa Jalla said in the Hadith Qudsi, I am whatever my slave thinks of me. So think good of Allah Azza wa Jalla, even if it's a major calamity. Assume the best about Allah Azza wa Jalla, that this is ultimately good for you. And if we have some shortcomings and sins, we abandon them and we return to Allah. We know, oh, this happened to me because of that sin. I was okay until I did that one thing and now I see, I'm tasting it. I'm experiencing the consequences if we are mindful of our sins. Some of us will commit so many sins we can't tell anymore. We can't tell. We don't know what is for what. The Salaf, they would know. He would know that what happened to me now is because of that one sin I committed because they were track of sins. Now we can hardly keep track of the good deeds. We are immersed in sins. This is the difference.